Hi guys, what's up? It's White Boy Magic. It's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video, but I have had something come up in my mind, so I have had to, I have got to make this. And what I am uh, bringing here today is I am going to be talking about the uh, the mar the c economy of marijuana, particularly in uh, this Southern Kentucky region, um, and it may relate to other regions of the world, um, other geographic regions of the state the whole world, anything. Uh, but what the problem is that I've been seeing here lately is that people have been selling loud for 10 a gram, which has, this geographic region has been known to um, a gram of loud be worth $20 a gram. And what happened here is um, these people, there's it's, it's, it's as if there's a monopoly on top of everything that's going on here and there's one or two people up top getting this shit super cheap and they're just pushing it super cheap and which makes the price go down like they don't care about all of the marginal cost all the opportunity cost of profit to be made there which it really affects a lot of other people though and um, even people that's getting it uh, it's not even just the people that have the monopolies that's on the top of the food chain. It's also people that's going out here and selling it for the same price that they get it for just because they can and make a quick flip, make a quick $20 here and there, you know. And it's there's not much money to be made in that, though. That's the thing. And you're putting yourself at a lot more risk dealing with a lot more people, uh, driving around a lot more, wasting a lot more time. Uh, but the thing is, the reason that selling loud for 10 a G is a bad thing, I'm just going to cut to the chase here. First of all, it cuts out the market for, uh, it cuts out the market for homegrown, high mids, Reggie, which, don't get me wrong, everyone prefers loud over any of that. But the thing is, there is a economy still for people growing their own bud, like, you got some homegrown, uh, it typically goes around 10 a G around here, if you have some Reggie, it goes around 5 a G, high mids, it can be somewhere in between 5 or 10, uh, even some homegrown, some, uh, B quality nugs go 15 a G, uh, the thing is, what happens here is, when it, when loud goes down to 10 a G, what happens to the market for homegrown and Reggie and high mids and all of this stuff? It just simply crashes, and there is no uh, there is no market for it anymore. Well, there might be a limited market um, due to certain circumstances, but once uh, the thing is, when you live in a small town or you meet people. You're going to meet new people, and you're going to meet the same people that everyone else knows, and you're going to have the same prices available to you. Why would you want to buy a gram of, uh, why would you want to buy a gram of homegrown for ten dollars when you can get a gram of loud for ten dollars? You know, why buy a gram of loud for twenty dollars whenever you can get two grams for twenty dollars? That's what has been happening here, and uh, the problem with that is it cuts out a lot of. Uh, it cuts out a lot of money to be made by lots of people, and it makes it singles it out into a single monopoly, or maybe two or three monopolies on top, and everyone else is just getting. There's no money to be made for everyone else. That's the problem here, and uh, it cuts off a lot, lots of uh, entrepreneurs, lots of people in the middle of the food chain that not the people. Uh, that's selling pounds and shit. I'm talking about the people selling like quarters, eights, grams, gramming it out. Because uh, people make hundreds, profit hundreds, thousands of dollars by just sitting there gramming out gram for gram, selling at 20 a gram. And that's a way to make profit right there. You might, it might take a little bit longer, you know, but um, it's profit to be made. It's the potential profit that you can make out of it. Um, and I'm not talking about selling uh, 10 a G in quantities like ounces, like an ounce for 280. That's not, I mean, that's reasonable or 250 somewhere in there, 200, because there's money to be made anywhere in that range. Uh, I'm talking about selling individual grams themselves for $10 a gram, because where's their money to be made by that? Unless you go buy, uh, if you buy a gram by gram, 
it's going to equal 280 either way because there's 28 grams in that. <clears throat> excuse me. There's 28 grams in an ounce. So where is the money to be made there? Oh, wait. I might go buy 2 grams for $10 and then go sell them for 20 So that's $20 I made right there. That The thing is, what's wrong with that? You're not living up to the full potential cost. You're just gaining a little bit of money here and there. It take instead of uh profiting off each individual gram, you it takes two grams for you to profit any money. And I don't see the point in that because you're out here risking yourself hustling, trying to make a living, trying to make some money and profit and you're doing it for nothing. Like you're putting yourself at all this risk to get caught by the cops, whether it be a felony or a misdemeanor, and it's not worth the risk. If it's that little amount of money, it's not worth the risk. Um, and don't get me wrong, as a smoker, as a consumer, price the price is going down for Bud is a good thing because, I mean, when you can have when you have twenty uh, when you have twenty dollars in your hand and you're wanting some Bud, well, who are you going to go to? A guy that sells at twenty a gram or a guy that sells at ten a gram? both real good quality I mean one might be a little bit better than the other it's just like whatever the people have you know but you're gonna buy what are you gonna do um, that's the easy answer you wanna buy two grams for twenty rather than buying one gram for twenty because you're getting more and you're getting really good similar quality um, but as for the entrepreneurs the people in the middle of the food chain out here uh, hustling money trying to make some money here and there make a couple hundred dollars profit those people get really affected by it because they're in the middle of the food chain and this whole food chain collapses it just like collapses the only people that have really marginal uh, have a marginal profit uh, potential are the people at the very top of the food chain I mean don't get me wrong there's people that will pay more money but once you start meeting people, once other people start meeting the people that you know and the people that everyone else knows, then the whole the whole food chain ultimately collapses. And that is a problem because a lot of people are missing out on making a lot of money, which has been the case for the past, what, eight years. Uh, there's been lots of people making killer money just by being in the middle of the food chain, just hopping in. Um, and the problem here, if you sell individual grams for $10 a gram, then your ounces should be a lot less than 280 250 It should be a lot less because the thing is, um, pretty much you're just cutting off all these people that sell grams. You know that? All these people that selling grams and eighths and quarters, you're cutting them off. You're cutting all their business off and you're still having the same prices for a bigger quantity the thing is once your prices go down to ten dollars a gram what should happen is your ounces should be a hundred fifty dollars or less go down uh, the quantity should go down with the amount uh, if you're selling at 10 a G then your ounces should be like 150 140 because there's no room for profit for everyone in the middle of the food chain um, what's the solution the solution is independent imports of high quantities of high quality buds and that makes you um, say you have an import of high quality bud with a big giant quantity then you're up here competing with this other monopolist um, and it's just all competition from there on um, monopolies should not be in effect because monopolies are just a limited amount of profit to be made by a limited amount of people which I do not believe in I believe that it should be an open market for anyone to be able to step in and make some money and be able to have the same exact uh, opportunity as everyone else monopoly chains are a failure and a economic disaster um, and the last thing I'm going to touch on is the black market economy. It goes away when there's no longer room for everyone on the food chain to hustle and profit. And that is a disaster.
because everyone deserves the opportunity to hustle and profit and make a little bit of cash. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. Peace out.